What's going on everyone? My name is Marissa and what most people don't know about me is that I have already built two successful online businesses that have crossed six figures and I'm currently working on my third which is expected to be the most profitable. And so in this video, I'm gonna go over your six figure blueprint and if you are starting from zero, you will have a clear roadmap after this video on how you can realistically start from zero and go to $100,000 online in one year. So if you have a background similar to mine, if you don't know already, I previously was in the engineering field when I was in the nine to five and when I was a civil engineer, I made about $75,000 per year Year at my prime and so I thought that was really good but my dream ever since I was 19 20 was to make six figures in my career and when I reached the top so to say when I reached the point where I'm like okay now um, I'm at $75,000 a year but how am I gonna get to six figures I realized the only options to making six figures in the position and I said to myself I definitely don't want to do that at all I don't want to be in those team management positions and work 16 hours a day and you know to make hundred and forty thousand dollars a year that was not the path I wanted to take and so that is when I realized I had to go the online route and build an online business that had no salary cap and would allow me to achieve not only six figures but multiple six figures online and so the first tip I have for you guys on your road to 100k online is to do your research what do I mean by this there's so many models of online business that you can do there's trading there's e-commerce with Shopify, there's Etsy stores, there's being a service provider and charging money for your services, there's digital products, there's so many different business models out there. And another popular one is freelancing, for example, but you don't know which is the right business model for you and which one you are the most passionate about. And so it really is up to you to do your research and figure out which business model resonates with you. If you're somebody who has a strong skill set in graphic design or video editing or you know one specific skill, then maybe freelancing could be for you. And maybe, for example, you're already doing coaching or you're doing something that helps serve people, then maybe that business model is the right thing for you. So it's up to you really to do your research in what it is you want to do and which business model you're going to dedicate to be your online business. So if you're a little bit confused about what I just said, check out this video right here where I talk about what I would do if I was broke and starting all over in business and I go more in depth on different business models and how I would start from absolute zero with no money. All right, so tip number two is to get a mentor or mentorship as fast as possible. Now, depending on your budget, this might look a little different for everybody. And so what I mean by mentorship, it could look like the form of a digital course, training, having a one-on-one -on -one coach or mentor. Maybe you are in a mastermind group which focuses and specializes on how, let's say you're a fitness coach and this mastermind group um, teaches you how to build an online fitness business. Or maybe you want to look into trading or something very specific like that. You're going to need to get a mentor to fast track your results to where you want to be. And I wanna give you this really great example of when I left my nine to five, when I left my engineering job. Most people don't know that I actually started working for a company called Techademics. And so back in the day when I lived in Scottsdale, Arizona, this company had started in that same area and I thought, wow, they are actually an internet marketing college. And I thought, you know, I could definitely apply and work there so that I could learn marketing and learn what I want to learn. And so their specialty when they opened was e-commerce and there was an opportunity to work there as an intern. And so my job was basically to learn the knowledge and learn how to do e-commerce, learn how to do Facebook ads and all of these things. And then in return, help their customers learn how to do it. So it was really great. It was almost like, you know, free mentorship. Although I got a, I was making like heart, you know, next to nothing. <laughs> the, the stuff that I learned there was really great. I took a huge pay cut from like $75,000 a year to like minimum wage basically. And I wasn't there for too long, just a few months because I knew like with my own e-commerce business, I could, you know, scale it to the moon. So I quit working there. But 
The point is, I learned a lot from working there for next to nothing. I learned about Facebook ads, like really specialized skill sets within Facebook ads, like how to create a look-alike audience and how to scale and how to write copy for advertisements, how to put products in a store. So I learned all of these things. Being in that environment every single day helped accelerate my growth like crazy. And if I wouldn't have taken that job, it probably would have taken me a full year to learn the things that I learned within two and a half months. And so the point is, once you shift your mindset to think that you really can benefit benefit from a mentor or a training that is going to package it up for you and show you the direction and cut your learning curve in half. Your journey to creating that profitable business online will cut in half. Okay, so the third tip I have for you after doing your research and getting a mentor is to dream big and set realistic goals. I can't emphasize this enough because I made this crazy mistake that when I was first getting started online, I thought that I was gonna make six figures within my first 60 days. Like I was just like pumped and amped and had that like, yeah, screw the nine to five energy. <laughs> and this Marissa would have looked at the old Marissa and be like, honey, you need to you need to get real here. Like it's cool that you have all these exciting dreams and all, but let's let's not get too excited. Okay, you want to make you know, your end goal is to make $250,000 in a, a year, more money than you've ever made at your nine to five. Great. However, what is it going to take to get there? You're, you're really missing what the steps are to achieving that a quarter of a million income salary. Let me break it down to you like this. Let's say there is a guy who wants to gain 11 pounds of muscle, yet he has not even established a routine of going to the gym five times a week. Better yet, he doesn't really even go to the gym. Um, he hasn't really evaluated his, his diet habits and like how much he needs to be eating, like how many grams of protein and carbohydrates a day, how much water he needs to drink, how much sleep he needs to get. Like all of these aspects of a, you know, getting to a certain goal need to be broken down into different steps and achievable categories so that you know along the way you can incorporate something little into your daily routine because you can't go from zero to going to the gym six days a week and eating like you know a pound of chicken a day or however much protein it takes to gain 11 pounds of muscles that's a lot of muscle right and so it's it's the same thing with business if you want to make six figures or a million dollars or whatever amazing keep that vision keep that goal but what is it going to take are you going to need to outsource some tasks like what is it in your business that you hate doing like you need to learn to outsource that and if you're somebody that doesn't understand the importance of outsourcing yet then you have to get develop that mindset first and that's why I was like, uh, okay, I was in for a super rude awakening when I first started my online business. Like my goals were just way too freaking high. And so that goes back, you know, to point number two of getting a mentor because if you're not investing into a mentor or some type of course or training to help you accelerate stuff, what is that going to cost you of not having a mentor? Is that going to cost you two years of your life? three years of your life of time wasted and more money wasted on trying to figure it out by yourself. So that is why I emphasize the first three points because literally these first three points of doing your research, getting a mentor, and setting your goals are the foundation of your 100K year. And so my fourth tip for your six-figure blueprint is to build a monetizable skill. Really, no matter what business model you choose, whether it's freelancing, e-commerce, trading, uh, affiliate marketing, you are building a monetizable skill. Pick any one of them, and there are at least a few monetizable skills within that category. So take freelancing, for example, and let's say you are really good at copywriting, so you're really good at writing email emails for people, you know, copy on sales funnels, on advertisements, you know, you need copy virtually everywhere in your business, right? Okay, so what other skills are you gonna develop from that? Well, you need to learn how to design a sales funnel page most likely so you can design a sales funnel and you can write the copy right and what other skills do you learn uh, you learn communication you probably learn outsourcing so you have you, you know you're eventually gonna have a workload that you can't handle on your own as a freelancer so you're going to have to outsource people to come help you and so you're going to learn all of these mini skills with
within your you know your expertise and those are going to be invaluable and those are going to be your monetizable skills so if another example I could think of is an agency there's people that become experts at learning how to run paid advertising so Facebook ads Google ads YouTube ads and that right there is another huge example of a monetizable skill because companies do not have the time to learn how to do these things on their own so they hire you with the monetizable skill and they'll pay you you know eventually as much as you want I mean obviously there's there's a cap but they'll pay you more and more because you're really good at driving traffic to their services and their offers and so the more valuable you make yourself the more value you you can add to the marketplace the more money you are going to make so focus on creating one monetizable skill and improving and making that skill better and better and so this was a game changer in making six figures in all of my online businesses and coming in at number five that is selling high ticket products so these high ticket products can be either your products or a product that you are an affiliate for. So let me break this down more simply. What is a high ticket product? So a high ticket product is a product or service that costs minimum $2,000. And if, you, if it's you that create the product or offering the service, then you get 100% of the profit. But let's say you're an affiliate marketer and you're marketing a product that costs $2,000, $3,000 or more, then you get a commission for that high ticket product. And speaking of affiliate marketing, this was uh, my second business model that took me to over six figures because I got really good at driving traffic to an offer, a high ticket offer, where every time I got a sale, I got a thousand dollar commission and I had to do no work after that. And on this channel, I used to talk a lot about affiliate marketing. And if you're interested in learning more about affiliate marketing and wanting me to create a video for on affiliate marketing for beginners, comment below affiliate marketing and I'll create an affiliate marketing for beginners tutorial because I know that if you don't have a product, if you really don't know where to start, affiliate marketing is a great way to get your feet wet with online business and to really bring in a profitable income if you do it right. So if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and join the family and smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for more videos just like this weekly. Okay, so we've talked about the first three steps. We've talked about building monetizable skills and then charging a higher ticket price for those monetizable skills or promoting a higher ticket offer. Now I wanted to talk to you about building your audience, which is my sixth tip. And when you're teaching people what you know for free, your audience is going to grow. Your followers, your subscribers on YouTube, you know, your pins on Pinterest, whatever it is. So whatever you focus on growing, that audience is going to grow, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you guys are interested on how I built a wildly successful business on YouTube and how I believe it is the greatest platform to help you grow a business on YouTube and to hit six figures, go ahead and download my subscribers to sales blueprint. It'll be the first link in the description below. And so back to building an audience, this shouldn't be too complicated and people get intimidated to start building an audience because they think, oh, I have no followers. I have no email list. I have nothing. I'm nothing. It's like, okay, well, obviously if you stay, if you don't do anything, that's the way it's going to stay. And nowadays having an audience that is smaller, a thousand person following or whatever it is, is, is good because that means you have a micro niche, which is very sexy to these companies that want you to help promote their services and products. And so future entrepreneurs and business owners think that they need this massive audience of hundreds of thousands of people in order to make money online. And that's not the case. And so again, that is another thing my blueprint goes over. If you download it in the first link is how you can really like make a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money with not that many subscribers on YouTube and the same thing with Instagram or Facebook. The only thing that's, you know, keeping you from achieving that income into building that audience is you. It's like, usually it's imposter syndrome and you think like, oh, I don't know enough or you know, I'm not certified to teach this or I haven't achieved this yet so I can't talk about it. Like, no, just document the journey. You know, teach what you know, your experiences. You have a powerful story and you have powerful informa information to share 
with people. And so once you break that mindset and you know get in front of the camera and start creating that content for whatever social media platform, you will start to see a difference right away. So if you're digging this video, I know for a fact that you are going to like this video right here where I talk about 10 multiple streams of income that make you $100 per day or more and that video starts right now. When I was an engineer, I thought, man, I just don't know how to make more money and produce another stream of income. It was so confusing to me. It is how some people that I know in the online marketing world are making multiple six figures per month with one digital course. You can get paid to show people around your city. Like how cool is that? You can take people around, show them the best nightlife, the best restaurants, museums, whatever it is. 